So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your app icons on your iPhone. Now luckily for you, this is fairly basic, but you have to be on iOS 16 or newer, but you can honestly be, I think, on like iOS 12 or newer to do this. As long as you have the Siri shortcuts application that looks like that, you should be good to go. If you don't have it, you can always make your way over to your app store. You can click on search and you can just search up shortcuts. So hopefully it doesn't mess up. So search up shortcuts, that's so hard to say, and you should be able to find the application like this. And as long as you have it installed or it says open, you are pretty much good to go. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go and find some images of some app icons. So typically what you can type in, like you can type in like app icon aesthetic. You can also type in a specific icon that you want. So if you want like the app store icon, for example, what you can do is you can just type in app icon app store, just like how I kind of typed it and I kind of messed it up. And from what you can do is you can go and click on images and you can find all sorts of different app icons that you can choose from. In this case, we have like this one that I'll go ahead and use. So I'll go ahead and download this one by holding it down here. I'll click save to photos. I may find another application or another app icon that I can use for a different one as well. So you can just keep finding different apps and app icons and use them like that. And remember, they're going to be a little square, so they're going to look like this. So this may actually be a better one. And I'll go and just use this one for the example. If there's another app icon, I'll go and find it as well. Also look up a Snapchat icon that's kind of different and I'll go and find it there too. So there we go. Once we have some icons, you'll be able to see them inside of your app store like this and you should be able to kind of further mess with them a little bit later. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make our way over to our shortcut application. And all we wanna do is make our way over to our shortcut panel that's on the left side right here. And from here, you can just make your way over to all, all shortcuts. You wanna click on the plus button that's on the top right, right there. So click right there, not that one, this one, the plus button right there. And you wanna go and click on open app. You can also search for open app right here if you don't see it, but a majority of us will go ahead and see it right there. So go and click on the plus button right there, and it's going to ask you which app you wanna go ahead and open. Well, in this case, we can go and click on the app, and in this case, we'll be using the app store. So let's click on the app store right there. And what we wanna do now is we wanna go ahead and basically go ahead and click the share icon that's at the very bottom, and it's going to allow us to add this icon to our home screen. So what we wanna do is we wanna go and click on add to home screen, and we'll get into this pop-up. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and basically click on the X button here and we want to type in the name of that application. So here we're going to type in app store. Now at the very top, it's going to give you an example of what it's going to look like. So in this case, we're going to type in app store. We're going to click on this little icon up there and we're going to go ahead and choose a photo. So in this case, we're going to choose that photo that we just kind of linked on earlier. Now this one is okay, I guess, because it's, it's still going to show a little box around it, which is kind of annoying. But if you kind of zoom in, I guess you can kind of make it a little bit better but there's going to be a lot better icons you can choose from, trust me. So this is just an example. So from here, we can go and click choose, and this is an example of what that icon is going to look like. So now what you can do is you can go and click add as long as everything looks good. And now watch what happens. If we go and swipe out, we should now see that icon actually change and it should look something like that. So again, this is an example, it's not going to be perfect. But from here, when we go and open it up, it should open up the app store and that is it. So that's pretty much how you do it. So you can see I have a couple other applications that I tried this for with before, like the Instagram application, for example, and it's honestly a pretty cool thing. It works fairly well, and you can do this with lots of other apps as well. So you just have to keep doing this over and over again, open up shortcuts, add another application when you're done here, and just keep going and keep adding those apps with new icons, and that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.